my fire pit, um, I try to put big flat rocks on top because it's good to put like a spatula or a rest a hot pan on or whatever uh, while you're cooking. Um, every year we have to rebuild this because the storms come up here. This wasn't really put together like it was last year. Um, what I did was I got a little plastic dinghy that someone was going to throw away so I you know my, with help of duty I brought it out here so my goal was to go around the island and find big flat rocks where I could throw in the plastic boat and then you know get them up on shore here and as the tide comes in kind of float them up to get them closer so kind of like prehistoric methods um, what these do is they used to uh, at low tide they would tie ropes to a big log and as the tide came in they could the log would float and carry the rock so if you see way down there I'll try to zoom in a little bit way down there, my eyes. Um, the point that goes out way at the end that part that sticks up that's where I found some really good flat rocks so I stuffed them in my plastic dinghy shoved it in the water, dragged it all around the water, and so far we are down here. Um, I'm going to give you a perspective on how far it is. There's one part going around a rock I thought it might be over my head, so I climbed on the rock with a rope tied to my wrist and pushed the dinghy out and kind of like dragged it along the side of the ledge to get it around it instead of, you know, I get over my head, this high wind and stuff. Ooh. Ooh. So we're trying to float it up over this hump here. On the other side of this rock, it's uh, pretty deep. So, as you can see, I tied a little anchor to it so you can get it up here. Woo, it's windy out. Next, I got a good hold of my phone here. So, here we have. 